I'm pretty sure this is the fastest home EV charger in Australia. And it's a 32 kilowatt hour battery and it's a 25 kilowatt solar inverter and it's bi-directional. Let's watch it get installed. First thing we've got to do is we've got to make room for the Saigon store boxes, which are going to come up to about here and they're going to be about this wide. So these things are in the way. What we've we got here, we've got a My Energy, a conventional AC EV charger that's coming off. And here we've got a three phase socket, which you can plug a portable EV charger into. They're both going to go. Now, integrated into the Saigon store stack is a solar inverter, well, technically a hybrid inverter. And so we've got to bring the DC cables from the 16 kilowatts of solar that's on the roof down into the Saigon store. So you'll also see those cables getting pulled down by Sash and Sammy. So this is Sammy from EV Charge Australia. He's doing the install this morning. Sammy, what have we got here? We've got the installation kit. Yeah, we've just got the SIG Energy base. So as we, as we open it up here, we can just see inside the package it nice and neatly, easy to mount. As you can see here with a nice spirit level right in the center so you can get it all nice and square. And then you drop, start dropping the battery. Yeah, straight on top. These battery modules are eight kilowatt hours of storage with four kilowatts of power each. So the four modules we're installing today will be 32 kilowatt hours of energy storage and a chunky 16 kilowatts power output. Now, SIG Energy also make a five kilowatt hour module with two and a half kilowatts of power. And you can mix the five and the eight in the same stack with an eight kilowatt hour brick costing 20% less per kilowatt hour so I know which one I'd be buying. Price-wise, 13 kilowatt hours of battery with a five kilowatt single phase hybrid inverter and a gateway retails for around about 11,500 Aussie dollars, which is about $2,000 less than the similarly spec Tesla Powerwall 3. These LFP battery modules have a warranty of at least 70% capacity at 10 years. That's the same as most other home batteries in Australia at the moment. All right, module number four. This is going to be the challenge for my keyboard warrior arms because we've got to lift it up on top, but let's see how we go, Sammy. <laughs> okay, so we've got the four battery modules on, finally. And now the next module that goes on is the EV charging module, but it's a really special EV charging module. What's the difference between AC and DC charging? Let me tell you, this is the kind of charger that every single home in Australia that's got an EV charger has likely got. It can only put AC electricity into your car, and that means your charging is going to be relatively slow. For example, if you've got a Tesla Model 3 or a Tesla Model Y, and you've got a three-phase house, so that's the beefiest supply you can get, it can only charge at 11 kilowatts full speed. If you've got a BYD, they're even slower. It can only charge at seven kilowatts full speed at home on an AC supply. If you go to a DC charger, which is more commonly found on your fast public chargers, you bypass the internal inverter in your car, and that means you can charge way, way faster. With this baby, you can charge at 25 kilowatts. So if you've got a BYD, you can charge nearly four times as fast. This is the only home DC charger I know of in Australia that's being installed right now. But fast 25 kilowatt DC charging isn't all this baby can do. What I'm really excited about is that it's bi-directional charging ready. That means when you've got a car that can do this, you can use your car to power your house with a simple software update, no hardware changes required. Now this is Will Hall from SIG Energy, and Will is gonna confirm what I've just said, so you can blame him if it's wrong, that this truly is bi-directional charging ready. Is it true with a simple software update, when all the regulations catch up and the bi-directional cars come to Australia, if you own one of these, you can flick a switch in the software and it's ready to go bi-directional. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So we've already rolled it out overseas with some of the car manufacturers there. We're currently working with some of the network providers, some of the major car manufacturers to test it. So it works. We're just waiting for these guys to catch up and basically give us the green light to go ahead with it. Now it's time for the star of the show, the EV DC charging module. Let's go, Sammy. Oh, this is exciting. What? Yeah. All right, so the first thing, that is bigger than your regular home EV charging plug. That's a CCS2 plug, and it needs to be a CCS2 
Because remember, this is a DC charger, so all the ACs up here, and it's got these two extra connectors, which are for the positive and minus DC. Ah, so it's pre-connected, so you don't even have to wire it in. Okay. And there she is. So this thing will charge 25 kilowatts DC. Expect to pay around eight and a half thousand Aussie dollars retail for this 25 kilowatts DC EV charging module. And there is a 12 and a half kilowatt version available. That's about seven grand. Now that's a lot of money for a one-way EV charger. But if you plan on using the bi-directional feature, the only other alternative in Australia at the moment is a $10,000 Warbox Quasar. Now, I should also point out at the time of filming that this module has not been approved by the CEC yet. But don't worry, it will only be used off-grid until the approval is signed. Yes, that's right. This whole system will happily power the house and car totally disconnected from the grid. Now, the final piece of the puzzle, the 25 kilowatt three-phase inverter that goes on top. Now, the inverter module can be installed without any other modules in the stack if you just want solar first with the option of adding a battery and or EV charger later. Now, this top end 25 kilowatt three phase inverter that we're installing today retails for around 6,000 Aussie dollars, but the range starts with a five kilowatt single phase unit and that's about $1,800 retail. And this 25 kilowatt unit is still waiting for CEC approval at the time of filming. So we will be putting it into off-grid mode before we leave for the day. So this is the switchboard, the house switchboard, and this is the gateway. What's the gateway used for? The gateway is basically used for backup. So that whole battery stack can back up the whole house and the gateway handles all the wiring and the switch over. So when the grid goes down, you get uninterrupted backup. And that uninterrupted is really important with this device because it's pure UPS. That means the switch over time rounds down to zero milliseconds. So no matter what sensitive equipment you've got running in the house, when it goes into backup mode, it's not gonna shut down. Nothing's gonna get corrupted. It's gonna work perfectly. At least that's what they tell me. We'll test it later. So that's it, it's fully installed. It took four and a half hours. And can we just take a moment to appreciate how neat that install is? Compare that to installs where you've got all separate boxes all over the place. Even if they're neat as a pin, they look nothing as good as that. And that's all thanks to great work by the boys at EV Charge Australia and this beautiful custom dog thing. So all that's left to do is bring my Tesla Model 3 here, which I can only charge at home at a maximum of 11 kilowatts and see if this baby can charge it at the full 25. One limitation of the SIG Energy DC EV charger is it's attached to the battery stack. So if like at my house, your battery is a long way away from your car. It's just not going to work for you. I know you watching this might think this is quite boring, but I'm really quite excited. It's charging at 25 kilowatts first time. And it took what, five minutes to commission? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's really freaking cool. So. This thing, it just worked first time. Um, and as an engineer, you've, you've just got to appreciate that. Let's go through what we've got. Four eight kilowatt hour battery modules. So that's 32 kilowatt hours of storage, EV, DC charger, and we've got the 25 kilowatt solar inverter. Now, there's a lot of money there. That's about 28,000 Australian dollars just of hardware. And then you've got to pay someone to do the installation. But if you think about what you're getting, 32 kilowatt hours of storage, 25 kilowatt DC fast charger, 25 kilowatt three phase solar inverter with full house backup, full proper three phase backup. And the icing on the cake is it's bi-directional ready. And you heard it from the horse's mouth, just a simple software update, no hardware updates required, no wiring changes. That's amazing. What are we waiting for? We're waiting for cars that can actually do it, which I think are about six months to a year away. And crucially, the local electricity networks have got to give you permission if you connect it to the grid to do it. So there you have it. What I'm pretty sure is Australia's fastest home EV charger here in little old Adelaide. Now, all that's left to do is to switch the whole shebang into off-grid mode and go home and have some tea.